Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Dr. Jennifer Garner, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Well, Gardner, and thank you. I'm calling you Jennifer Gardner off the TV. Thank you for joining me today. It's almost Friday, so forgive me. I'm so excited about the weekend. <laughs> it's to be expected. <laughs> All right, you're here, and we're going to get to talk a little bit about babies because they don't yes. come with a user's manual. I know. It's really unfortunate, isn't it? Give me some of the challenges facing new moms on what it takes to master the art of parenting because they don't come with the manual. Yes, they really don't. And, um, I, you know, I tell my families that each baby is unique. And unfortunately, raising kids is not like a math equation where you can follow simple steps to the right answer. So I tell my families that they need to be flexible and be ready to learn with their children. And if you do this, parenting is going to be a whole lot more fun. Parenting is fun. And I just I'm so glad to talk with you, and I'm so glad you said that. My kids are now adult people, <laughs> and if I could tell any, if I could give, and I don't do advice, but if I could give any advice, I would say enjoy this time because Absolutely. it's not going to last forever. You took the wind out of my sails. That's my favorite <laughs> piece of parenting advice, and it really is, is just relax and enjoy it because, you know, it does. It goes so fast, and when people tell you that when you have a newborn, you know, you don't think it can go fast enough, but um, it really is some of the best time of, of your life with your child, and those bonds that you're forming are going to take you through in the difficult teenage years, so absolutely. Okay, so tell them why it's important to remember there's not a perfect formula for raising kids. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just what we said, absolutely. Um, it's hard to parent, and you're going to make mistakes and be ready to make those mistakes. And what I always want to remind parents is kids are changing, and that's okay. That's their job, to grow and to change. And we as parents can't be static. We have to be ready to, to change with our kids. So what maybe worked one time may not work the next time. And so this throws some parents, you know, for a loop. But just be comfortable knowing that you're going to have to change along with your children. That is so true because... Uh, if I could give my little advice. I got four kids, so I got a lot of advice. Well, you, I went from mom to mother, you know, to mm -hmm. I don't know what they call me now. <laughs> but that, that shows you the change that happens mm -hmm. with them. They're changing, and they're going to change how they, they interact with you also. Mm -hmm. All right. So when you got a newborn, though, mm -hmm. why, what, what, do we need, what do they need to know when they leave the hospital? Because I did think I was going to kill each one of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, rest assured, we don't want any of that happening. You know, no. I, the, what I always tell parents, if I'm lucky enough to, to meet them before they have the baby, is to get prepared before the baby comes. And one of the biggest areas that is important is figuring out a feeding plan for your baby. So in the newborn period, your baby's job is to grow, okay? They're going to actually triple their birth weight by the time they're one. And your biggest job, other than bonding with them and giving them lots of love, is to feed them. And so I think if you prepare before the baby comes with a feeding plan and be prepared for all options, you're going to be much better prepared than anyone else. And I'd like to give my own example for this. Um, as a pediatrician, I know that breastfeeding is best. And so that was my plan. My, form, you know, my plan was to feed exclusively with breast, with breast milk. Unfortunately, a C-section didn't allow this to happen. I had to supplement with formula. Now, as a pediatrician, that was an easy decision because I know it's a great second feeding option. But a lot of parents have never even thought about this option. And here you have a baby that's waiting to feed, and the nurses come and ask if they can supplement, and it becomes a real stressful time for the parents. So I think one of my best pieces of advice is just to be prepared. Even if you think you're going to breastfeed, want every, every once in a while, Things change, and you should be prepared that you might have to supplement with formula. That's right. So is it important that we need to do our research before baby arrives, correct? Because, you know, we spend a lot of time in the store buying a crib <laughs> and a blankie and all the little toys, 
But this is really important. It's true. And, you know, studies show that actually before the baby comes, parents don't actually do a lot of research on feeding. But after pa baby comes, it's the number one topic that they search is baby feeding. So this is something that you have all that time to prepare for ahead of time. Make sure you think about it before the baby comes. Dr. Jennifer Gardner is a medical doctor, but she's also the mom of a three-year-old, and she's a pediatrician. So you're getting great advice today. I hope you guys are taking notes. Finally, Dr. Gardner, what's your most single most valuable tip for my listening audience, which is probably filled with moms? You know, as I said, I think it's just to be prepared um, before the baby comes. And so I tell parents to find a trusted resource and then once you have that trusted resource, you can feel comfortable spending time with your baby. If you're going to formula feed, storebrandformula.com wants to be that trusted re resource. So they have created an a, a ebook on formula feeding that you can download for free. And on that, on that website, they also offer parenting tips, answer frequently asked questions, and have a lot of tips and tricks for feeding the baby. Dr. Jennifer Gardner, you are the light of our day. You oh, gave you. great advice and great information and enjoy being a mom and a pediatrician. Thanks so much for being my guest on oh, the Belder Show. Thank you. Have a great day.